how a scientist's quest to determine the age of the Earth led to the discovery that the entire world was being poisoned by a dreadful neurotox. As a young scientist during World War II, Claire Patterson joined the Manhattan Project, which was tasked with creating the world's first atomic bomb, and after the war, redirected his focus to try and determine the age of the Earth. Radioactive elements like uranium are naturally occurring in rocks. These decay over time, eventually producing other elements. By measuring the amount of the elements present in the rock, this allowed the scientists to determine the age of the rock. Crucially, Patterson was able to access an iron meteorite that was known to date back to the formation of the solar system and the Earth itself. By comparing this with rocks on the Earth, eventually they were able to determine that the Earth is 4.5 billion years old. When Patterson first started to try and measure the decay of uranium, he was tasked with measuring the element that it decays to. That element is lead. However, he found that when he was trying to measure these tiny amounts of lead, there was always contamination. To understand the source of this lead, Patterson went to the North and South Pole, where by digging into the ice lower and lower down, he was able to measure the levels of lead at different points in human history. Humans had been releasing lead into the atmosphere for thousands of years due to mining activity. But in the 1700s, lead levels really take off, and in 1930, they skyrocketed. And it turns out that this is the exact time when lead is added to gasoline or petrol. The fossil fuel industry had previously funded Patterson's work, but by this time they were no longer supporting him. Aside from in car fumes, lead is also found in water pipes, in paint, and also in tins that were used for canned foods. As you might imagine, the petrochemical industry was not happy about Claire Patterson's work, and they tried to challenge it at every step of the way. Eventually though, thanks to environmental activists and Patterson's data, they were able to spearhead a successful public health campaign, which started to remove lead from gasoline or petrol from 1986 onwards. It's hard to convey just how important this was. Lead is so toxic, particularly to developing children, that there is no amount of lead in the human body that can be regarded as safe. But since lead has now been removed from a number of sources, such as gasoline, petrol, or canned foods, we've seen a dramatic decrease in levels of lead in the human body. However, for some people living in parts of the world, particularly the developing world, lead exposure is still a huge concern.